So hello guys, um, I know it's been a while since I made a new video, so I thought I'm gonna make a new one. And this video is more tag of the new players starting out the game and just finish the story. And they're just about to set out on this uh, PV adventure on their own. So what I'm trying to make, make a point here that veterans might know some things, might not know some things. So I hope everybody can enjoy it just at least a little bit. So. Let's start with the basic uh, things, uh, but how to gear up, what to do in a dungeon, or what exactly you need to do to get stronger. Because literally that's the goal for every MMO. So, not everything is going to be in order. It's not going to be like, I'm going to make, this is the best order, follow it. It's, it's a very flexible game, it allows you to do whatever you want. However, it's very time-gated, some content, so you have to keep that kind of be mindful, but there's a lot of PvE content you can do, do and without any restrictions. So let's start with the basic thing, Astral System. Now, the reason why I'm putting Astral System first is because it's very important and it's very easy to get. Now, what I mean by that, Astral System you can access by pressing keyboard uh, N for November, and you're gonna see that I have 28 points, right? Now, I'm almost at 24, but you get a, you get a lot of points from um, from your beginner finisher realm and students, that's four extra. So that's why you see 23, I have 28 points. So in a nutshell, what Astral System does, it allows you to get a ton of flat, uh, what you call it, flat uh, skills. And flat skills are the king. So let me just show you what I mean. So you got skill five here, for example, uh, mastery 13. Now I'm gonna show you gear 75. I'm gonna compare and see what I mean straight away. So let's go back to character. This is gear 75, right? It gives plus 12 haste. This is gear 60, it gives mastery plus 11, right? You can see it's, uh, it's, the astral system is so powerful, it allows you to, basically, as soon as you get, like, 23, right? Astral system is level 23, it will apply to every character you're gonna make. It's account-based, right? So if you're gonna make, make quests that already had, give you astral experience, you will only get as maximum, as maximum as a character has, right? So, my, right, let's just see how to get astral points. So every, every quest, um, so if you're gonna press G, go to the targets, and you're gonna see straight away what it is. Um, General Razor, right? General Razor is the majority of you gonna get it, so a lot of them, uh, there's a lot of these, but not all of them do give Astral System. So if you look at it, available Astral Experience for an account 20. All these things, give all these quests give you some Astral Experience, right? As you can see, some doesn't, so it's not really important, but some of them are very tedious and very hard to do. For example, I think the most hardest one I had was um, Hidden Treasures. It takes time. It definitely takes time. Um, let me just see another one. It would be difficult. I think the 30 on the hard difficulty is difficult. It's, it takes time to understand what it is. Collect again. Cards also will be difficult. So, let's... Uh, the easiest way for you to get it is your biographies. As soon as you complete all this list, you're gonna have a pretty decent amount of uh, astral experience. So you're gonna have a, quite a bit of a flat, uh, flat stats. So let me just show you how much attributes I get from this alone. It's a ton of attributes. There's perception, there's mastery, there's there is skill, there's physical defense level. There's so much of um, so much of utility because you can once you get it, you get like quite a few nice bonuses like crit damage. You get five percent increased damage if you're far away from two meters and all that. It's a really important system. It's not a very hard system to understand. Just do quests, complete uh, complete the points, and you get to get it. Every uh, every point for Astral Essence is at 100, so you get 100, you get over 100, carry out to the next level. So, there you go, that's Astral System in a nutshell. I hope that explains um, how to do it. You can access it a lot as well, just, if you look at the target, you can always, always find it in, um, I think it's the team instance as well, yeah. The right raid bosses as well give you some experience, if you see. But I completed already all of them, so. So anyway, so this, this is how you do the Astral points, right? So. Another thing, as soon as you finish your game, right, there's a lot of, a lot of guilds, uh, sorry, guilds, guides, a lot of guides that actually explain to you what to do uh, and how to best uh, utilize your skills for your character. Because a lot of them, a lot of them are just, um, for example, LMB, LMB, there are some, some rotations use them, some don't, but you do need to be mindful of a key. So my advice is, because I can't really go through every character, just find a guide, just um, type Sword of Legends Online, and your character class, Spear Master, Bard, whatever, in YouTube and just look some people, because there are some smart people out there. I, I might, I'll try to find some guys and link you in, in, a, in the description of the video. But I would say that's one of the key stones of your understanding of your character, because once you know what your skills do, just take time, just read what they do, right? 
find out what exactly to allow you to understand the character much better. And it's really important to know when to click what, right? It's MMO. So, it's one of these things, right? So, next thing would be complete all your tutorials. I cannot stress that enough how much important it is. Because if you go into your G window again and you go Leisure and Fun, you need to get all of them complete. Because some of them actually give you Astral as well experience, and some of them give you quite a bit quite a bit of gold and information as well. These things are really important because um, it gives you, for example, treasure map, it gives you, actually gives you the compass you're gonna use to locate treasures, which is really important for, uh, uh, sorry, for the next one, which is a treasure compass artifact uh, quest, which is, gives you the um, epic treasure maps, which you exchange for the maps and you can find them on the, on the, on what you call it, on the, on the areas you're in. Because if, how to access that, you can, once you get everything, you just press inventory, sorry, no, that's not it, that's backpack. And you go on the treasure map, and it usually shows what it is. I more or less completed them, so I didn't really have... There's a limited amount of time you can use it, but again, this is another system you can enjoy. But I really don't do that too much, because I find it a bit not interesting for myself. So, uh, right, so there we go. So, general idea is, as soon as you finish all the campaigns, you can have the have the what to do on your to-do list, okay? It's so like... Most of them are gonna have a show sometimes even mysterious punishment. I'm gonna talk about it a bit later. Uh, PvP as well gives you combat spirit, which you're gonna talk about later as well. So as long as you complete them, it's once you once you finish a quest, it takes about a couple of hours to complete everything, and you're free to do, right? There's weekly quests which basically um, shows you what to do, but uh, general idea again you can access as well. If you want to just PvE, you click PvE and it shows what to do. You can do PvP, shows PvP. It's self-explanatory at this point, right? Event and so on. Okay, so that's number two. Now another thing is the factions. A lot of people join factions and think which was the best faction. My honest advice and uh, opinion, best faction is whichever has the biggest number of players in that instance. Because this game has multiple instances, uh, it's like a multiverse if you will. There's instance upon instance and sometimes you're gonna have full of reds and full of blues. Now, if you actually join the, um, join the faction, by default you're gonna be faction fla well, flagged as a faction. So some people are gonna gank you and kill you. How to turn that away? It's very very simple. You go in your K in your skill window, you go into general, and then faction mode, right? It's eight hour, I think it's eight hour cooldown or 13 hour cooldown. You deflag it and then you're not, get, not gonna get attacked by the other, anybody else. So you can just farm and complete your PV quest in peace. You, you, as soon as you get the faction wars and some in, in areas like that, it's gonna reset straight away back to where it's supposed to be. Flagged in the faction. Um, now, another thing is really, really important is the prestige. Now, prestige is a key king in this game, whatever you call it. Because a lot of them, a lot of them have quite a few items that you want to have. And you can access prestige by looking at your um, museum of contents, G, right? So it's G level. Or you can just access through here, whichever you prefer. So you can see your factions as well. Some of them are not really important, unless you, for aesthetical reasons, you want to have one other thing. Some of them do really nice avatars, uh, robes, titles, whatever. Um, but some of them really, really important, for example, Blood Ruvia. Uh, and Blood Ruvia is important because you can get some really nice buffs, which is... Uh, HP plus one, and the uh, physical and magical power is plus one as well. Now these are seven day buffs, so how to get them? Um, so you go to, to the traders, which are here, right? So this is a thing, um, sorry, um, one sec mate. I think I'm in the wrong area. Yep, there you go, there you go. That's a Blood Rivia Merchant, right? You go to the Blood Rivia Merchant and you're gonna see, uh, I've talked about skulls in just a bit once to talk about gearing. But these are the buffs, right? So these are the buffs that last 7 days and it costs 20 gold and 120 of these. Now, them you can get really from dailies or weeklies, which is basic again, window G. And you go, train against demons, uh, usually gives you the uh, Ruvian tokens when you kill uh, demons. Uh, which is again in the, in the lantern, which is explained in the tutorial. Uh, and it's really, really good. Because uh, you can get quite a few things from this as well. Because like I said, you get some nice... Uh, Nice, a bit of a, what you call it, um, avatars and your player cards and recipes as well. Um, so yeah, prestige is definitely a king, so keep, keep, be mindful of that. Because uh, a lot of the, a lot of the, a lot of the traders will allow you access more of their merchandise as higher, as, 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 you, as higher you get in the prestige. As you can see, like, you need, um, I think I have all of it. Oh yeah, I do. Now I still need lantern. As you can see, it shows you one, level six. So I need level six to get 
to get the, these, which I'll probably get. I like this. Um, so there you go. This is um, this is really good for the buffs because it lasts a week and you can get it for quite a few time. Now mentorship system is quite kind of important as well. It gets a lot of neglected by people. If you look at it, it's uh, it gives you quite a few items as well, and it's. Um, and if you get dungeons as well throughout the week, for example, weeklies, uh, the instruction, it gives you a parchment which is infinite. Again, we'll talk about the parchments, but we're going to talk about dungeons and what, well, how to gear your character after you get your gear score 40. So yeah, so this is the basic prestige. You do really, you would do want to, a lot of these prestiges you'll get by doing the uh, right quests. And area, area, pres, area prestiges, like for example, Quee. Where's the Queen League? Queen League is due by complete dungeons in general. You get that. Area, for example, Jam the City. It shows you straight away. Um, it defeats Chow Prison, right? So, which is basically a dungeon, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. Through any normal or hard. And you can kind of farm by doing it, but again, if you complete dungeon daily, it, it becomes kind of self de defeating purpose, though. Keep doing it, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. To keep that in mind, these are really interesting factions, and you can go through them and see what they offer. They're pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff, so you can go to that and figure out what you want to do. Now, um, dungeons. Let's talk about dungeons. So you, once you're gonna finish a game, you're gonna have a level 40 in your gear score. Now, my best advice is finish all your basic quests. You're gonna have some parchments, right? Uh, um, actually, we're gonna have to be talking about the crafting, but that's a bit later. Um, my best advice is to complete your dungeons, normal ones. You can access by J, uh, again, and you go progress, and there's your normal dungeons. What they say when you go, when let's say just go mercy, person matchmaking. What they say in normal, it requires 45. Ignore that. Again, if you're gonna match a dungeon, remove except matchmaking because you're gonna, you might not get um, all the bosses. Because uh, usually what you, when you do that, it matches you at any point in the dungeon, be the last boss, middle boss, whichever. If you do that, you can start a fresh dungeon. So you just do personal matchmaking, DPS melee healing, confirm, and it should show you straight away that where you are right you can match with multiple as well or just oh fuck me um right so let's do this there you go it, it's done so in a nutshell you can just get in and uh, do multiple dungeons as well while you wait instead of doing for one uh because I, I don't think i'm gonna be able to match make because yeah you get if you cancel the queue you get four minute cooldown which you can just make a brew and just decide why you do that you know like me but i'm making a video so it's okay again you can match through multiple you keep Keep going through all of them and doing so that by doing that you should get about level 50 within a day maybe two days max because they they always drop you what you don't have there's two sets there's mastery haste uh, at the moment i think um and you got two pieces of it right so i have this is all mastery right mastery 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 two is where my i keep my haste for my haste stuff right so you keep getting those right so the hard dungeon is a bit more difficult because I would suggest strongly before you match in the in the normal get get 50 gear. But if you desperate and you know what you're doing, go for it, mate. But you want to do some damage and you do want to do it because uh, it's at, it, it's pretty decent for you to understand what you're doing because the, some of the bosses do have kill mechanics and it will kill you and it's not very fun to lay in the ground in the gray screen, right? So once you get the gear, right? Um, in general, gearing. Um, is one of the most important factors in MMOs. So if you look at it, my belt is plus three. It's 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 an explanatory how to strengthen it. So I'm not gonna go through it. It's very easy. Just go on any blacksmith and just uh, use your PvP seal stone uh, one two or it's or, or I think it's one two and three. So whichever is more relevant for you. I have no idea what hell is my seal stones too. Huh? I thought I had two hundred. Uh, it's gone somewhere probably. Anyway, so at the end of the day, this is what you wanna have. Um, Oh, actually, I think I exchanged it. Yeah, I exchanged the PP seals on three because of the raid. So this is how you're gonna get the gear, gear score 60. And after you get do gear score 60, look for the teams. Sometimes in the world, look for the people doing the Jade Palace, which is located in in the foothills right here. Sometimes you, I think if you try to go to it now, uh, let me just try it real quick. Can I go to it? No, it doesn't work because this is this is how to go to dungeon. You can just walk manually to dungeon. Uh, so your best advice. Just uh, just hung in foothills, and you go right in here, and that's how you're gonna get there. Uh, there it is. Okay, so this is after you get level 60. Now, uh, once you get uh, 60 gears, you have to remember majority of them are just empty gears. If you look at it, it has mastery plus 42 right at the bottom there, right? Uh, mastery 42. Some of the some of the prestige guys do sell scrolls. You only require level one, if I remember right. 
and you can enchant your gear and it's extremely extremely important because that gear is basically what carries your dps and how it makes you much much stronger as a person in, in any dungeon or any other pv content now how to get it so most of them you can go by the merchants which is basically is in q league sells quite a fit quite a few of them again there's quite a few if you see there's quite a few options so make sure you find out what's exactly is more supportive for your character beat mastery haste um and so on as you can see it's called a pv weapon dance salesman bracers bracers belt um i think it's only bracers and belt and a weapon in this one yep that's what it is a belt braces on a key key which is here um i think this guy sells a uh, shoes yeah shoes and trousers and then you go this is a blood ruby merchant right it's all got yeah, all located in, in um sorry it's all located in a uh, jade palace and uh cloud rise okay so if you go to this guy this guy is gonna have our robe and headgear so all of them gonna increase your damage by multiple you have to remember again uh if you look at it uh, my belt only gives me 14 mastery but the scroll gives me 42. some of them are fairly expensive so keep that in mind make sure you know exactly what you're buying for your class because some of them some class is going to use hey some class is going to use mastery uh, depending on um on which build you're going through okay so 26 gold and 300 and uh blue lotus now it's kind of it's not that expensive you can farm it quite quickly but keep that in mind okay so Again, it's really important because that's where all your stats come from because as you mastery improves a ton of damage just like skill does. So, but I don't think you can have skill in there. So yeah, this is how you do it. Um, now, let's talk about parchment system. Uh, parchments, you can spend by opening your... Uh, by pressing P. It's basically, um, as you can see, the it's the, all your level 60 gear. And it weapons can kind, of, kind of expensive but if you if you look at a specific item you can always get it through here now as soon as you reach um you can get the parchment through doing dailies or weeklies again you go back to your um j progress window um uh, if you look at it if you look at a target no no actually it's um production list if you look at the production list you can literally look if you look for the parchments and then you can see what it does and what it when it's available right so ruvia instance exploration some of them are only done weekly or daily and you have to remember character only can receive 16 of those throughout the week however this is a current parchment there's two versions current and infinite right so if you look at infinitive right Infinitive is goes mostly from uh, introduction to tower shop or the instruction which you can get uh, only through the being mentor right so if you do three dungeons or uh, battlegrounds with your uh, apprentice you're gonna have two of them a week that's once times a week and uh, another one a lot of people forget to mention it another one you can find is um right here if you go outside just the jade palace and we're gonna do it really kind of quick um there's the attendant shop okay attendant shop also gives you quite a bit um quite a bit of uh, options to do right so there you go this is the attendant shop right it's located okay, right here in the cloud rise if you look at it it says current you can buy it through here right done you can get uh, also um the, ma the masters that we could just talk about uh, in a garden parchments you can give it as well but i advise to keep your uh, currency for now because you will need it uh, for your scrolls once you have enough then you do it so let's go back to our pet window the pet window is uh, what it is it's, as soon as you as soon as you use a thousand of them, right? I use a lot of my PV Sealstone too because I'm preparing for my 75 gear. Now, you can get any anything you want. This is actually a noble box you're gonna get from the quest, which is again only costs 88. But most of them, and the cheapest one is 135, which is a ring. Now, you get them from dungeons. Uh, I think you get fr from hard dungeons, you get like three per boss. Uh, and there's like four or three bosses per dungeon. You get quite a few per week because ha hard dungeons only give you give you loot once a week so it's pretty pretty difficult to farm them uh, consistently jade palace bosses will give you some so as, anyway as soon as you get to the thousand right you collect thousand and use thousand you have to use thousand in this shop you get understanding right which means every parchment from now on is going to be dropping as 75 however it will halve instead of 12 you're going to get six so in a nutshell it's going to become harder to farm but 
you can uh, get access to 75 gear which is a bit of an end game at the moment because that's the only thing we have and this is really what you want to do right uh get all 75 gear again as soon as you get uh, spend thousand points in here you get understanding of 75 which is you should crack on from that so let's talk about pvp pvp is also pretty dope stuff because you've got quite a bit of a gold from pvp especially from 3v3 uh i think you can access by control k and yeah i'm not pvping a lot at the moment so i'm still silver uh i did uh, what what's my win rate right now 82 88 whoop whoop but anyway personal matchmaking dps defensive healing i haven't seen tanks but these rewards are pretty good because you have to remember um if you if you're an avid PvP player, you do want to complete a thousand because it gives you quite a bit more wrists, which you can send, uh, you can spend right with the with the bat oh guy up here. I'll show you in a sec. So if you're gonna go here, um, not the best fastest character for actually traveling, is it? So there is your writ um, of the comments trader, which means. You buy here now however you have to remember some of them require have a requirement which is dragon thunder fall thunder 2 etc now that means basically what it is if you press your c character window and you click on pvp it shows your battle cry and your battle card ranking right so co combat it's all about the combat spirit okay uh, the higher combat spirit you have throughout the character that it applies to the entire character forget to mention that the the more uh, well, the shop you can access okay so 70, 60 gear, that's the 60 gear. I think you can get 75 as well, but it's more expensive. Which is like 11,000, Jesus Christ, that's expensive. 16,000, what? <laughs> okay, this is expensive as hell, but that's 75, uh, sorry, 70 uh, gear quality. Uh, again, if you do that and you're gonna get enough um, enough combat spirit, it's gonna unlock as, as, as it goes. And there's some other, um, other rewards as well. Um, if you look at the rewards, you get some nice titles nice stuff and whatnot uh, it's pretty pretty cool stuff uh, pvp is very difficult than pve so keep that mindful and uh, in a nutshell that's exactly what you want to do just um, farm that's pvp is not gated content the only thing is gated throughout the throughout the is uh, which one is rotating throughout the day uh which would be in the g window and if you look uh, there you go today is the battle of continents uh, it's it swaps throughout the day and you get quite a bit through data, so I would recommend to do this at least once a day, so at least you have everything everything going well for your combat spirit, because again, it only updates once a week, which is Thursday. So keep that in mind. So, again, I think the only, the only thing I haven't mentioned is uh, understanding the UI. You can access UI through the interface settings or through here. Now, it, uh, you can apply throughout the account, but as you can see, a, lo a lot of mine are a bit different because um, I've already adjusted it. Now. You can make anything you want however some of them you can actually make it 200 or 100 i like to make some some like target buffs and the debuffs right so 200 so I actually see what's going on i can do my own i can do my buffs as well my buffs are 150 so i can see them better and then they there's something i'm gonna have to explore yourself and find out your best setting because everybody everybody's unique everybody likes it itself um but this is actually it makes more sense for you how to do but i think that's more or less what you would want to do as a as a new player i mean i'm always happy to answer questions in my youtube or twitch channel which is going to be linked anyway under the below in the video but i hope that actually clear some things what to do after after you finish your character uh, through the pve content which is pretty long it's about i think eight to nine hours with some people some people take a couple of days uh but it's definitely a good game to start so i hope you enjoy it and i'll see you in the next video